Hi there! Welcome back to the 31 Days of Danganronpa. This is part 2. If you don't know what the 31 Days of Danganronpa is, check out my first part. I explain everything there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's let's just get right into it. For day 8, I had the trope no TP and the ship I picked was Junko Mikan and the palette I used was High Fashion, which ironically fit very well considering Junko being ultimate fashionista. It took me 54 minutes to draw and luckily not, it didn't crash, you know. <laughs> um, however, Junko Mikan wasn't my first pick. I don't really care about the ship, you know. I personally think it's really unhealthy, but the reason why I picked it is because of the as little as possible repeating characters thingy, and my actual no TP would be Asahirix Byakuya. But then again, I don't want to just have 10 days with Yasuhiro. <laughs> So then I went further down my no TP list and the next would have been Kiyotaka XLS and then we have Kiyotaka again. So I chose Jinko X Mikan for no TP. I also ignored like the morally wrong ships as in like incest and pedophilia because that should be like, you know, common sense that these ships are bad. So I didn't include them. Otherwise I would have like drawn Kodakyo and his sister or something. day 9 we had bro tp and i decided to draw kaito and shuichi again not my first pick my ultimate bro tp would be leon and yasuhiro but <laughs> again <laughs> yasuhiro is everywhere <laughs> um the color palette i used was cherry soda and it reminded me more of kazuichi probably because of like you know the soda part um, it took me 39 minutes to draw. I don't really have much to say about this, really. It's a nice bro TP. Their dynamic in the game is... I love it. Just Kaito being like, yeah, my sidekick, woo! And just hyping up everything and Shuichi being the depressive little shit he is. <laughs> So for day 10, I had favorite straight ship, and obviously you can't pick your OTP again. So I picked Leo Saya, which um, I've been shipping it ever since the very beginning. Like <laughs> The color palette I used for this was Conversation Hearts, and I, I don't know what to think about this palette. Overall, it's a nice palette, but using the colors was horrible, <laughs> mainly because of this neon pink and neon green. But overall, I, I like the colors, just not 
together and it, it, it bothers me so much. It took me 49 minutes to draw. The reason why I ship it, like, it, a lot of people say like, oh no, murder x victim ship, you know, but there is a lot of stuff going on with the two of them pre-can, like, not pre-can and pre-despair, like, before the entire killing game happened. And Leon sometimes drops hints like, oh yeah, Sayaka is so cool, like, in the free time events and all. And he's like, oh yeah, I want to get this poster so she can sign it. And it's just so adorable. I decided to give them sort of matching outfits. The scenario is basically Leon has like a baseball game coming up and Sayaka is there to cheer on him. And she's wearing a sweater with his number, which is 18. I don't know if it's ever explained why it's 18, I need to look it up. But yeah, I basically gave Sayaka a sweater, also having the number 18 on it, because she's like, yeah, I'm a Leon fan, woo! <laughs> they could have been more enthusiastic. I had the trope favorite gay ship and in my last video I mentioned that before Yasukano and Ishimondo used to be my OTP however I still love this ship so naturally I would draw it for that day um, the color palette I used was blooming and for some odd reason it is very similar to conversation hearts uh, but instead of having three pinks and two greens it has the opposite like three greens and two pinks which you know it's it's kind of a coincidence that they're right behind each other. I also decided to give them non-canon outfits yet again because I don't know. I just I just like giving characters outfits they don't wear in canon, just to see what they would look like. And I also gave Mondo a ponytail because, <laughs> as much as I love this man, his stupid hair. I swear to God, and it, it's coming from a girl who says Yasuhiro looks really good with his gravity-defying dreadlocks. You know. I don't know, it's just his hair is so weird and it looks like corn. <laughs> and I love drawing him in like, you know, a ponytail. It makes him look really casual. And I feel like more clean cut than when he would put his hair in this weird ass pompadour. Although his pompadour takes like more time and effort and probably also some sort of precision to make, but you know. Hairstyles and dang and rompa. Ha <laughs> ha
For day 12, we'll continue with the gays. Uh, I have favorite lesbian ship and I chose Sakura X Aoi for that. I am aware that in canon Sakura has a boyfriend, but he wasn't revealed until another episode and I was shipping these two before and it's just so close to my heart, I, I can't get rid of it anymore. Um, the color palette that I used was the sweetest chill and listen, it's so pretty. Pretty palette for pretty girls, okay? Wow. No, I just love the purples that I was able to use in this one, and it's just... Mm, purple is such a nice color. <laughs> Took me 45 minutes to draw, and non-canon outfits, because I'm that bitch. And the scenario is basically they're like out on a date, and Aoi is eating some donuts, and has some crumbs on her face, and Sakura is like cleaning them off. I also drew Sakura in a summer dress, because that's one of my favorite things to do. I don't know what it is. Whenever I draw Sakura, it's in some sort of flowy summer dress. It just doesn't fit her really because she's that masculine buff character. But that's what makes it so pretty to me. Because it's just... <laughs> Who expects that from her? You know? <laughs> Day 13, we're finally past the ship territory and the trope was favorite game. I decided to draw the main characters because my two favorite games are Trigger, Happy Havoc and another episode. And I drew the Naegi siblings for that with the palette Subtle Melikani and it took me 48 minutes to draw. <laughs> yeah, I had troubles with the mouth, so I was like, what the hell. Overall, I didn't have many problems, aside from the mouth. <laughs> the reason why I like these two games... With Trigger Happy Havoc, it just has a special place in my heart. I like... Most of the characters I like in cosplay are from that part, and... It's just when I first got into Danganronpa, I was watching the anime, and it was based off Trigger Happy Havoc, so... That's why. Plus, I... You know, with Super Danganronpa 2, I feel like it's a bit too much of a copy of the first game so mm. and the characters I do like the characters but not as much as from the first game with another episode I really love the gameplay I'm not huge on ego shooters really that's pretty much the only ego shooter I'm playing actually and just the fact that you can play as CEO and Togo is just great and I cannot forget the spin-off novel which is my favorite you know I <laughs> For whatever reason I mention Ultra Desperhagakura in every video, I feel like <laughs> this is gonna be a running gag. I have to somehow mention that novel every time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, these are just great games. Pretty much overlooked as well, because most people are either focused on uh, V3 or are just like, yeah, Super Danganronpa 2, that's the good shit. And I'm like, not really, but that's just my opinion. So yeah.
And for day 14, I drew my favorite Trigger Happy Hava character, Leon, the baseball boy. Well, again, I could have drawn Yasuhiro in there, but, uh, you know, <laughs> the pillow that I used was constant rambling, and again, I feel like the name kind of fits Leon because, you know, Aho. <laughs> And it took me 31 minutes to draw. The reason why I like Leon so much, I don't know, he caught my eye the very first time I watched the anime because he has everything I like. I like red-haired men with goatees and piercings and it's just <laughs> right in the bullseye. And he's just a very interesting character overall. You don't get to know much about him unless you read Alter is for Hagakure. There it is again. I can't stop talking about it. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of pissed off that he had to die as one of the first people. Just because the artists were sick of seeing him, it's just... <laughs> he was used as like the reference for the male characters and since the artists had to constantly go back to him and Sayaka, Sayaka was the model for the female ones, they were sick of seeing the two so they were killed off first and I'm over here like, I fucking hate you for that. <laughs> Leon did nothing wrong. He was just used as a reference. Oh my god. But yeah, he's just he deserves better, honestly. So that was week two. Week three and four will each feature eight drawings instead of seven and will be uploaded on Monday instead of Sunday because the numbers otherwise wouldn't have properly fit. So yeah, and the 31st of October, the drawing for that will be its own video. So it's basically gonna be a five part series. And I, I again, I still hope I can work with it, <laughs> work through it, really. We're at pretty much half of the list. So I'd say we're like, doing really good. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next video. Bye bye!